How does a break cost affect my decision to refinance? So a break cost normally relates to a fixed rate that a client has, has in place and they need to break that loan. Um, they might be going through a marriage separation, they might have to sell the property, it might be an investment property, they have to sell it, so they have to pay that loan out. So uh, right now, because the fixed rates are, were around that 2 to 3% mark and the variable rate's 6%, to break a two or three percent fixed rate loan, there wouldn't be a cost that would normally be passed on from the bank because they're replacing money at a higher rate. So there probably wouldn't be any break costs there. However, if it was turned around, and I said this before, I've had situations where clients were breaking from an eight percent fixed rate and trying to get into a five percent variable because they locked it in two years prior the rates were like on the way up and they couldn't cop it anymore so basically locked it in thinking it was going to be there for a while and they had to pay a thirty thousand dollar break fee now that's not happening at the moment that's not to say that it wouldn't happen because we're entering into an area at the moment where people don't really know where the rates are going to land and so we may get some clients jumping into fixed rates at you know six percent or around about that level and then you know who knows 18 months time maybe those rates start to go back to five five and a half and so people are still locked in at six percent or a bit higher for another 12 months 18 months and so if they're wanting to do it if they have to do it in terms of breaking the loan paying the loan out then potentially there would be a break cost how that impacts a refinance we just have to get the client to ring the bank, find out what the break cost is. If it's three, four, five thousand dollars, then we just add that to the cost of doing the refinance. So if your loan was 300, we'd add that 5,000 to the, the 300, make it 305, um, and then work out the cost to refinance. Let's call it 1,300, so we might round it up to say, you know, 3,000, 307,000 to cover everything. Um, and then make sure that's gonna be worthwhile for the client to do what they need to do. So it, um, it can affect people, but um, it's a case-by-case -case scenario.